Tell me why you're sitting with me here today. I have stage four, so my cancer came back, and that's why I'm here. Actress Shannon Doherty is fighting for her life, now revealing her breast cancer has returned and is now spread to her lymph nodes and bones. It's not the news that anyone wants to hear, and you've been living with it privately for a year now, yes. correct? Yes. And you wanted to keep it private. Tell me why. I still do. I mean, I don't think that I've processed it. You know, I've had a year to let this, you know, sit and, like, resonate with me. I definitely wasn't prepared to come out with it. Because when you, when you tell people that you have stage four metastatic breast cancer, the way yeah. people treat you changes, the way people look at you changes. They look at you like you're dead man walking, basically, and that uh, they need to say their goodbyes to you or something. And also work dries up. I enjoy working and working gives me just another reason to wake up every morning. It's another reason to, um, you know, fight to stay alive. Shannon is best known for her roles on TV shows, Beverly Hills 90210. Uh, just tell me the color, the size, and it's yours. Oh, wow. And Charmed. Oh, who cares? We're desperate and it's working. She was first diagnosed with breast cancer back in 2015. It's a battle she shared with her fans, documenting raw moments, like shaving her head on social media and in an interview with E.T. It's the worry of your future and how your future is going to affect the people that you love. And then in 2017, the star posted triumphantly on Instagram, sharing that her cancer was in remission. She continued to act throughout her journey. It's actually kind of nice to be back. Returning to the role that made her famous, Brenda Walsh, in the 90210 reboot just months after the 2019 death of co-star Luke Perry. What was going through your mind at that moment? Because you didn't share this with Why anyone. Why wasn't it me? It was so weird for me to be diagnosed and then somebody who was, you know, seemingly healthy to go first. It was really, like, shocking. Shooting the reboot, she put on a brave face publicly, but privately she knew her cancer was back. I thought, when I finally do come out, it will have worked. People can look at that and say, oh my god, yeah, she can work. And other people with stage four can work too. We still have some living to do. How did you make it through shooting, keeping that dark secret? <laughs> Brian Austin Green. I had moments of great anxiety where I thought I can't really do this. And Brian was the one person who knew. Brian was my my buddy, like, we got this, kiddo, you know? And I'd be like, yeah, 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 we're fine. Shannon admits it's been a struggle. Can you tell me how you found that your cancer had returned? I started feeling some very odd aches. I called my oncologist. Were you shocked? Yes and no. I think in the back of your head, you are always suspecting that this is gonna happen. But I had definitely also in another way convinced myself that I had beaten it, you know? Like I was, I was the true warrior, I was the true survivor, I was. You said you slayed cancer yeah. in 2017. Yeah, Good Morning America. Slayer. Yeah. It's a bitter pill to swallow in a lot of ways, I'm not gonna lie. Like, I think the first time around, I found some really beautiful, positive way to look at it and I felt very enlightened. This is a much more difficult one to deal with. I'm grappling. I haven't found my path and my peace. But she's treating her cancer like she does everything in her life. She's fighting it. What have your treatments been like? It's basically a chemo pill that you take 21 days on and seven days off, hormone blocker, and then a shot once a month to try to prevent fractures or because it's the biggest thing with cancer in the bones is it just starts breaking down your bone. And standing by her side through it all, her mother and husband. But even so, it's an isolating place. I imagine when you're in this situation, how alone you feel. You do feel alone. I, you know, there's moments when I feel alone and I have the most amazing support system, friends. But I, I find myself sometimes when somebody's like, oh my God, I have a headache, I'm like, I have stage four, you know, <laughs> like, and I don't want to be that person. It can be isolating because you're just on a completely different scale. It's a bitter dose of perspective. Yeah. yeah. I want to be, you know, the person that does help people. Like, hey, I'm 
so positive and peaceful and do it like I did last time. But I also think what an incredible disservice to everybody else going through this if I put forth something completely false. Like, I'm not okay. That's the truth. Shannon is also in the middle of an ongoing legal dispute with her insurance company, State Farm, after her Malibu home was damaged in the Woolsey fire in 2018. My house was severely damaged. You walked into the house and it just reeked of smoke. I got passed around from claims adjuster to claims adjuster. So I ended up suing State Farm. Shannon claims she has been forced to pay out of pocket for losses she believes should be covered by her insurance policy and that some of her claims have been unjustly denied. We reached out to State Farm and they told us, we empathize with Ms. Doherty's health issues and wish her a full recovery, adding we strongly believe we have upheld our commitment to our customer and have paid what we owe on this claim. In court documents, State Farm says they have paid nearly $1.1 million to clean and repair plaintiff's home and personal property and for temporary housing and furniture rental, adding that the plaintiff nevertheless alleges she is entitled to additional benefits under her homeowner's policy. Shannon telling us her health conditions will be made public ahead of the trial set to begin in early March. You want to own your cancer story. Yeah, I mean, I'd rather people hear it from me. I don't want it to be a court document. I want it to be real and authentic. I want to control the narrative. How do you handle the fear? I don't know. I mean, I'm pretty scared. My mom is, you know, a ridiculously strong, courageous human being. Um, so is my husband, but I worry about him. Have you decided how you want to live? Are you gonna change how you live? I think the thing I wanna do the most right now is I wanna, I wanna make an impact. And I wanna be remembered for something bigger than just me. Hi everyone, George Stephanopoulos here. Thanks for checking out the ABC News YouTube channel. If you'd like to get more videos, show highlights, and watch live event coverage, click on the right over here to subscribe to our channel. And don't forget to download the ABC News app for breaking news alerts. Thanks for watching.